I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Monica addresses fans questioning the age of the men she spotted with. I am different from most, not better than anyone, but I just made the choice to always live in my truth and be me. And that don't mean now, I'm not saying I'm perfect or I don't fall short. I'm just saying I'm being me when it's happening. And I stay solid to whom is solid towards me because I do have a come one, come all. I'm a fixer. I'm constantly trying to fix things for other people, make things better. And sometimes those people just simply make things worse. So I have to ask for the the discernment to know who to help, to know who to keep near me, to know who to have in my circle and, and who to have around me. And they say, how did you start controlling your attitude? Okay, I never had an attitude. I never had an attitude. I never, if somebody said they meet me and, and that I wasn't kind, they didn't meet me. I come from some really Southern, solid, strong women. I don't have an attitude. I have a no nonsense policy. I give respect. I demand it. I do not accept anything less. It is exactly why when I, if, if somebody is not in my life, they did something to me because my loyalty and that ride or die mentality was causing me to be, I was getting people just riding over me. Just, I think sometimes people take for granted how hard you ride for them until you put it in park and put things in perspective and start to understand that not everybody is supposed to have a seat at your table. Some of the things that God blesses you with, they are for you. And I had the the mindset that I have to be a blessing to others. That is true. But you have to be cognizant of who you're blessing at the same time too. So just being conscious of my space and who I let in and who I let around me, I recognize that there's no room for the weak in my life. This is this is the battles I, I fight and the things that I go through. There's no room for anybody to be weak. That that's There's no room for anybody to be unsure, disloyal, disrespectful. Learning all of these things helped me really keep my space clean. And that's why I enjoy life so much. Even in my darkest days, I'm enjoying life. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. God is working through you right now. So many of us needed to hear you. I don't want people to feel like I'm preaching either because I know some folks just don't want to be told nothing. I'm just sharing my experiences and how I got through a lot of different things that you've seen me uh, get through. Because on the other side of all of my pain was purpose. So knowing what that purpose was, was important. A, A lot of people wonder why. Why she why she friends with that person or why she loved them? Listen, if you really read the word. Going to the people who already felt like they had it all together was not exactly how story goes. When you understand something and you see someone that is in need genuinely, whether it is of a listening ear or someone to motivate them or someone to be of inspiration to them. And you're able, I'm not saying pour from empty cups. I'm saying when you're able and it is within you and you've discerned that this is a person that you can help and be there for, then that's what you're supposed to do. I'm not looking for people in high places to help. I'm looking for people that are experienced in the valleys. I can celebrate you in all your greatness, but I also enjoy helping people that are looking to find different things that they've lost along the way or maybe never even had. When the boys, especially the young ones, I get accused of all types of stuff. Oh, maybe she's dating this one now. No, I would never date anybody my children's age. You know, mine is my age. My person is my age without a doubt. And and he motivates and inspires me because as he learns and he grows, he's sharing these things with me. That's what we're supposed to do. So when you see me reach back and why would she be talking to him or why would she be encouraging him or at his shows or at his court dates? Because there is good in him. And maybe his mother didn't have the strength to tell him, but I do. And and some people cannot be helped. This doesn't apply to every person, but I am going to stand up for those that are ready to make the changes in their life because 20 year old Monica doesn't do what 40 year old Monica does or 43 year old Monica. I am 
a vessel for a lot of people. And it's okay if you don't understand it. You're not supposed to. I know when God sends me on an assignment in a person's life. And I also know when it's up. Not everybody is in your life forever. There are reasons and seasons. So I also adjust well. It can be someone I used to talk to every day. And they do something foul. Or something that is not okay. Or something that is not in alignment with what I know that I need. And I release it. It's okay. I can release it and let it go and not think twice about it. That is because I know that I am going to give a thousand percent of the good that is within me to other people. Because I believe that anything you, what you sow, you shall reap. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.